tomorrow is not promised. I don't mean to be the bearer of such unpleasant news. But have you read the fine print at the bottom of your contract? We are all here. Lightly. So, with alacrity being the crucial word here this evening, allow me to get to the main entree on two nights menu. Because you see, I want to tell you all the story of the miracle on Michael Avenue. Thanksgiving, 1986, La Jolla, California. This photograph was taken eight months after my wife, their mom, died of metastatic breast cancer. I cannot tell you how many Saturday nights I sat in that Rose Cafe asking myself this question. Where in this whole wide world am I ever going to find anybody willing to take on me and three kids with no agent. <laughs> My great period ended on May 31st, 1990 at the opening night party for the Mark Taper Forms production of Aristocrats starring John LaRoquette and Kate Mulgrew. Kate runs up and says, Paul, what are you doing? I want you to meet. And she leads me over to where this beautiful brunette was. I remembered her from the play. She was in the cast with Kate. She had this incredible scene in the second act where she came down center. She was exquisite. So I'm standing there. I don't know this is any kind of a setup. You got it? As far as I know, I'm just having my picture taken. So the picture's taken, the group dissolves, and I'm left standing there talking to Christine, who I don't know at all, and I'm talking to her about how great Kate was in the play. She was incredible. What a performance. I mean, she was magnificent. And I'm going on and on about Kate, and she's standing there so patiently, just smiling away all the time, thinking to herself, what about me? What about me? What about me? And finally, I look at her and I say, and you know something? Your breasts looked incredible in that outfit. <laughs> she thought what any right-thinking woman would think. What a jerk, but had too much class to say anything about it, so she just drifted away. And suddenly Kate runs up and says, what are you doing? You're supposed to be with Christine. And she leads me through this party. She takes me up to the second level, to the special dining area with one big wooden table and eight high back leather chairs. Eight people were occupying the said chairs. Now the guy here is making his move on Christine. He's coming in hard and heavy. He never saw it coming. Kate sort of ascended, descended, I should say, like a falcon from the heavens, and literally put her talons into both shoulders, and mid-sentence lifted this gentleman out of the chair, saying, I'm sorry, but Paul must sit here. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. I want to thank each and every one of you for the gift of your time. Now, I don't know what time it is for you, Bill. I do know it's ticking. You know, whenever I hear anyone say, hey, Paul, what time do you have? I want to look them right in the eye. And I want to say, 